G'day everyone, Envy here, and we're back with some more MTG Arena. Today we're playing Sarkin and Friends. So this is a Sarkin the Masterless uh, deck with lots of Planeswalkers, um, featuring Narset, both Narsets. And essentially we're just trying to get all our Planeswalkers out, maintain a bit of control, and eventually just outvalue our opponent and get our Dream Troller out, or our Chandra, and just run away with the game. So let's run, look at what we're running. We've got four Omen of the Sea because of that flash and a drawing, which is great. Works great with Dream Trawler because we can get more of those cards. Um, so I like Omen of the Sea. We have two Dovin's Veto. Comes in real handy when you need to counter something. Usually, typically, when they um, when they know you're going to play Shark Typhoon and they're like, I'm going to hold this counter spell to kill your Shark Typhoon, and you play Shark Typhoon, and they go, Ha, counter, and then you go, Nope, Dovin's Veto, and you can't stop it. And they go, Ah, shucks, and they scoop. So it's kind of funny like that. Um, for Narset, part of the Veils, because Narset is great. Um, her passability of not allowing your opponent to draw more than one card per turn really helps um, versus a lot of decks, in particular cycle decks. Although, in the last week that I've played, I have not seen a single cycle deck at all. So, huh, it's kind of weird. I haven't thought about that for a long time. But yeah, and be able to search our non-creature spells. But essentially, every spell in our deck is a, is a non-creature except for Dream Troller. That's the only thing that's not a, is a creature. So that's good. So that's what we have four Narset. Four Teferi Time Reveler because Teferi is still around, so I'll keep using him. Three Deafening Clarion to deal damage and to give our Sharks lifelink. Or a better one, if you do tick this with Sarkin's ability, all your Planeswalkers now have lifelink, which is just a fantastic thing. So we use that. Four Shadow of the Sky. If you tick up Teferi, you can target, you can cast this during your opponent's turn. So they will attack, pull their stuff down, go to attack, and lose everything, which is really good. One Chemist's Insight to draw some cards, just the one. One Narset of the Ancient Way. Such a great card. If I had, if I only have one Narset, if I had a second one, I'd probably take out maybe the Chemist's Insight and put another Narset in. But Narset's great, because you can basically just discard any of your spells you don't want to kill opponent's creatures. And if you get to a um, the negative six ability, um, her emblem, you pretty much can just run away with the game, so it's a lot of fun. Three Ulster's Conquer's Death, which is the best removal spell, um, best target removal spell that I can think of, because not only do we exile opponent's stuff, we make their stuff more expensive, but then we can get back any of our Planeswalkers, or we can get back our Dream Troller, which means we've got three chances to get stuff back. We have three Sarkin the Masterless, because Sarkin is great. Um, I've won games with this card in the past, because people don't read um, Sarkin's passive ability, which is Whenever a creature attacks you or a planeswalker you control, each dragon you control deals one damage to that creature. So if you have a dragon out, um, if a creature attacks you, um, it will do damage to that creature, not to the the opponent, to the creature. So say your opponent, um, in one of the games I played, attacked me with Yorian, who is um, Yorian, Yori, Yorian, the Sky Nomad, who's a four-five, right? So he swung into one of my Sarkin dragons, four-four. Well then. The Masters activated, took him down to 4-4, and then I blocked with my dragon and killed his Yorin, and then he scooped straight away after that. So, it's a lot of cool stuff, and it can really help you if no one reads the card, which a lot of people don't, for some reason. I don't know why. One Dream Troller, because I don't need to tell you why. Dream Troller is one of my favorite cards, so I, I have Dream Troller here. Two Shark Typhoon, since we're running a lot of non-creature spells, might as well just get some Sharks as well. One And one Chandra, Awakened Inferno, because we can end the game if we keep this up for a few turns, it's pretty much game over. We are running some lands, we're running 27 lands to be precise, 4 Hollowed Fountains, 3 Temple Enlightenment, 4 Steam Vents, 2 Temple of Epiphany, 4 Sacred Foundries, 2 Temple of Triumph, 4 Ragoon Triumphs, and 4 Interplanar Beacons. That is the deck, let's go play and have some fun with Sarkin and friends. Alright. Admiral Strax, and he's going first, so we do have an Omen of the Sea to draw a card, but Fairy is here as well. Hmm. Well, you know what? I will keep this, because I feel like it's good. Hello, Admiral Strax. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, let's go with Temple of Enlightenment. Land? Oh, that's cool. I could use that. Nice to meet you, Strax. Okay, what? Oh, Daxos, eh? How lovely. I'm gonna go with the. Do I put. Do I put. 
I think we'll pay the two life for the steam vents and pass the turn. And we'll flash him in. And then we'll bounce him. Oh yeah, that's gonna be fun, isn't it? Oh. Oh, that hurts. The, the Daxos. Hmm. I'm gonna go with you. Let's see. Oh, Chandra. Hmm. Well, I do like Chandra. So I will take both because I can get Chandra eventually. My turn. Let's go with the Interplanar Beacon. And I'm gonna go with my Teferi Time Reveler. Right. And let's go and bounce Daxos away. Ah, oh, there's Sarkin. Beautiful. That's what I want to see. So, Heliod's there, but he doesn't have enough. I don't think he's got enough thing for that, which is good. And we can exile him. Not next turn, the turn after. Oh, Banishing Light. Really? Is he Banishing Light? That? Now what? Oh, okay, that's interesting. Well, whatever floats his boat, I suppose. You know? Um, let's see. Do I want to bounce something? I think I do, honestly. I honestly want to. Because I don't want Gilead being around. Oh, that works. Works for me. Um, Potent Ghost first, do have Shadow of the Sky. You know what, this seems like an okay hand, considering we do can start with the Temple. So I will keep this, because this is alright for me. I'm pretty happy with this hand. Nothing turn 2, but I do have a turn 3 Teferi, or Nasa, and he did hit a card. Okay, Life Bounty. Well, we are going to Shadow of the Sky, and we are going to do that. Beautiful. Let's do it fine. Maybe Narset? Do I want another Narset? I have one, so I don't think I will take the Narset, to be honest. Now, this could get messy very quickly, so I am going to pay the two life. And pass the turn, we'll go with him. Next turn, we'll use Teferi. Oh, no, I don't think I'll Teferi. I want him to put as many cards as he can. Oh, no, we are going to Teferi. Takers. Over the sea can come down. Uh, oh, I do like that. And do I like Elsa Conquer's death? I do. You know what? Let's put. It doesn't matter which order it goes in. I will take these cards though. Because that can be easy to get rid of Heliod. Now, here's the thing. My turn. Alright, here's the thing. Here's the plan. We're going to pay the two life, we're going to play the Time Reveler, we're going to bounce Daxos back, and hope that make him lose him. Bounce this one back, uh, at least you don't get attack. Whoa, jeez, very nice the next turn, hopefully. Alright, that's good. Yep, cool. We will meet again. Pulling those counters. Get those counters out. Um, let's go... I could just shadow this guy now. But I think I'll wait one turn. So we'll go Temple of Enlightenment. Hope find something good. Dream Troll would be super nice. So let's go Narset. Oh, man. I've cut... I've just realised I've done... I've done a doom... Doo doo right there. If you wish to surrender. Now, I should I do it? I want that Dream Troll, though. I have the lands for it. I'm just going to look like I, I forgot to do it. Maybe he might swing at this, so... It might save me a bit. I can shadow this guy next turn. Unless he plays another white card, then we're in trouble, because Heliob will come down. That might not be good. Oh, yeah, there's Cowboy before. Did he just destroy his own guy? Yeah, 
Did he just... Oh, well, at least I can block something. I will block you. I'll block that one. Oh, that wasn't fun. You have bothered... You are bothering me. We're fine. forward, clean. Return enchantments. Ooh. Let's go with this one. Deafening Clarion is nice. We'll ex definitely exile that thing next turn, and then Dream Troller then. It should be fine. <gasps> that's woke that. Oh god, that's not enough to beat me. Alright, well, here we go. Now, let's go with the Elspeth Conquer's Death. I want to exile that thing. That's a problem. But you... Enters tapped. Last turn. We can play Dream Trawler next turn. You're gonna go and get yourself a. No, you're not going to. Ooh, a lifeline counter. Well, aren't you clever? Well, this is interesting. I thought he'd make it. I honestly, honestly. I thought he'd go for a um, thing, but he didn't, which is weird. So I'm going to go with Dream Trawler. He has Lifelink. And I will play my regular and Triome. Let that come down. It's combat. In my turn. Since he has Lifelink, it's pretty good. Resolve that. I'm definitely going to shout this guy now. Which is annoying. It's all hell, but whatever. Ooh, he really cycling it. Uh, sure, you can have that. Resolve. He will attack with Daxos most likely, because it doesn't really matter if he does or not. Um, ooh, okay. Cast blockers. I will block. I'll gain three life, you'll gain two. And my turn. Alright. Alright, here's what we do. Let's go with Teferi. Now, I could do something really spicy here, which is bounce this back to my hand and then Shadow the Sky. But, here's the thing. Oh, I put the, I put the wrong counter on. I wonder why I did that. If I bounce... I always do that, I put the wrong counter. If I bounce Divine Visitation, I can then attack and then Shadow the Sky, I'll lose my Dream Troll. Or, I can bounce thing, and then Shadow the Sky. He'll draw a card, but he'll lose his thing. Hmm, I think, well, I think first we attack anyway. I think we go for the attack first. We might as well draw that card and get some life in there. Ooh, now set, that's nice. Next to blockers. You gonna block? Nope. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. Good to me, Hank. Shadow the Sky. Oh, I should have bounced it. Oh, well, whatever. Let's go and bounce Divine Visitation. So you can play that again. Let's go and play a... Ooh, let's play Nasa and find us something fun. There are so many mysteries. Keep an open mind. Hmm, Sarkin's fun. Oh, what a misplay on my part, eh? Another birth of Miletus. Whoa. No land, and Divine Mutation comes down. How lovely is that? Doesn't matter, we still got there in the end. Even though we made that horrible misplay with Teferi, we still got there. That's what matters. Getting there in the end. You go first. Well, well, well. I'm going to... Sure. Keep this, so I can play this one first. Cool. This seems like an okay hand. Got some cross cards. Temple Epiphany comes down first. 
Yeah, more lands at least good. I'll pay the two life on this one to come down. I can counter something that happens, maybe. Who knows? So I need white. So we need this one, and we'll pay the two life, and I'll pass the turn with that. Then we can Teferi, and he really can't do anything countering us. Oh man, he is in trouble, isn't he? Alright, let's go with the Interplanar Beacon. Let's go to Fairy. Now, this comes down to the idea that maybe he. Spectral Sailor. What a bounce that back. Thank me later. Yeah, bounce it back, I don't care. Oh, I've done the hero thing. Lovely, more lands. Nice. More lands. I don't know why I did that. Okay, so he'll definitely flash. This is probably a flash deck, I'm guessing. So, that's gonna be fun. That'll be fun. So he might have some counter spells. I don't know. We'll see. Axalt could be. So I'm guessing he's going to pass. No point putting something out that can be killed. Ooh. Really? He played Brazen Borrow and he didn't actually cast it? That's weird. Huh. That's kind of interesting. Should I put the other one now and just bounce that thing back? No, I don't want that anywhere near me. Look, I. That's going to kill me. That's the truth, you know? So let's go with the Temple of Epiphany. Fine, we're going to see. Another Narset. Hmm. Oh, we got one. Don't want another one. Past, present, and future are bound by home your prowess. Deafening Clarion. <sighs> that could be fun. I'll take that, definitely. Yeah, I'll lose the shark Sharknado, but definitely Karen, definitely a good choice to have. I have a plan. So I'm guessing he'll swing into to Fairy, most likely. Yep. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Eh, I can see that happening. I can see it going either which way. Don't know whether you have counters. But 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 here's the thing. If we go boo boo boo. Alright, let's 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 do this. Let's pay the two life. Let's do this. And when he tries to counter, we use Dovin's Veto. Oh, no. Yeah, did you really think I was going to fall for that one? No flash for you. No flash. Going first. Yeah, this is all right. Not too, not too shabby. I got to say so myself. Black Phoenix. Yeah, more lands. That means I can get Shadow the Sky. Turn four. That's always good. Blue. Blue is always terrifying to me. What do I want first? I think this one. It's tapped. Not really interested. All right. Ah, we're versing a this deck. Okay, I see what I'm seeing what we're up against. Go to fairy. Let's blink back this thing. Right on schedule. Buys his turn. We got Shadow the Sky, which can come down should he get a bit big, too big to handle things. All right, well that's a hanged execution. I don't like that. Mm -hmm. Don't like that one bit, do I? Now, that means he can he can exile target creature. Now, here's the thing. Letting them live is dangerous. Because they can do a lot of crazy shenanigans if I let them go. This so, I'm going to go. And I'm going to pay the two life. And I'm going to pass turn. Because now I can activate sorcery spells. So, I'm going to wait and get him to play some spell cards. Then, I'm going to activate Shadow the Sky. I'll do it on his turn. Now here's the thing. Now if they hit me, 
I can save to fairy now, but then he'll put some more creatures out, and I've got no recourse for that sort of thing to happen. So here's the thing. I think we shatter the sky now and don't let Teferi die. Give Teferi one more turn. He either counters it or he doesn't. So I get to keep Teferi for one more turn. Do you think he'll play a bunch of creatures? Or is he just going to let it go? Just trying to be conservative. Oh, he plays healers for. Then Cloud can see it. Wow, he, he played both of them. He really went all out, didn't he? Oh man, another Teferi. That could be fun. Look, let's um, let's tick up. I've got let's time. go with the steam vents. And just tapped. And let's pass a turn again. Do the same sort of thing. Do you think he'll think that we're playing another one? Well, if he swings it to fairy, the fairy dies. However, we can make him die next turn, bounce something back, bounce nothing back. Ooh, that would slow him down. Hmm. All right. So here's the question: Do I let the fairy die? If I let the fairy die, he dies. And then he'll might play some more stuff, then we'll shadow the sky. And if he doesn't play stuff, we'll become his insight. We can play another Teferi and bounce something back. Yeah, I'll let Teferi die. Only time will tell. I'll shadow his stuff at the end of his turn. Is he gonna play some more stuff? Please play more creatures. I wanna really wanna hurt you. I want you to lose as many creatures as possible. What do you go for? Search for something. Planar cleansing. That is not fun. Alright. Since that's happening, I'm going to go Chemistry Insight. Resolve. Draw me to two cards. Very nice. My turn. So, if he does do Planar cleansing, that is a game ender. He's definitely trying to end all games. So, could I, I could Teferi, but it won't work. So, here's the plan. Here is the plan. He's got a planar cleansing, which means he can planar cleanse and wipe us off the board should we get too big. Which is what will happen. Or well, if we shatter now, we don't lose anything, we don't gain anything right this turn. Yeah, I'm going to shatter. I've got to try and make it enticing for him, you know, to do that full swing. You have to use two shattered skies on him though. So that's fun, at least. So he's prepared, he's got Planar Cleansing, and the Confusion will kill his own guys as well, so that's kind of funny. So he played all them, he's going full on. Hmm. Like, the question is, if I play Shark Typhoon, he will definitely Planar Cleanse, which will kill all his guys, or he doesn't. If I play this, I can bounce something back, but then I'll lose to Fairy. If I Sarkin, Sarkin will lose. So as we can exile this thing, I think we go with I think we go with the Shark Typhoon, honestly. And I'm gonna put this down and just tap, and we pass the turn. That leaves us seven mana. Now he's probably gonna go Planar Cleansing most likely. He must not have Shark Typhoon on the field, so he either goes Planar Cleansing or he doesn't. If he doesn't, we just get some sharks and force him to do it, which will wipe his field as well. I have another shark to feed in my hand, so I'm not worried. Okay, so he's really not going to go for it. Beautiful. All right, that's fine by me. He really, he really wanted to go this way, did he? Very well. All right, well. How much should I do? Can I do? I have four, three. I can play both these guys, and then I can kill things. Yep. 
and drop that, kill that. Yep, yeah, that's the way we do it. All right, so let's go with Nasa the ancient way. Let's let's make him do his thing. I know he will. Victory is just another puzzle to be solved. Mm. All right, draw a card and discard a card. Oh, I'm gonna discard that one. And that kills Empyrean, evil, bang, he's dead. Let's go with the fairy. Well, let's make you do your plan. Let's make sure you have to do your planar cleanse. You have to do the planar cleanse. Ooh. All right, come on. Now it's time to planar cleanse. You have to. Yeah, come on. Do it. Do it. I want you to do it. He has to. Oh, I mean, he probably doesn't want to because he'll lose his guys. But the most thing he best thing to do is attack first at me. Take I'll take one damage at least, and then he can go and swing. Yeah. Figured the game plan what it was. You can die, and you can die. Block. Now play our cleanse, kill all our guys. Yep. We should have seen that coming. Mm, that sucks. I hate when that happens. Really do hate when that happens. But Dragon to me. Alright, we'll put Shark Typhoon down next turn. Oh, he's great. Oh, is he getting another planar cleansing? How many times do we have to cleanse this place? He grabbed another planar cleansing. Holy crap. He did it again. Mm oh, yes. That's nice. Actually, actually, I don't mind both of these things, so I'm gonna take those. Take that. Make sure I hold two up. My turn. All right, here we go. How many do I have? If I do this, can I play that? I need six. So I've got three, three. No, I don't. Have, oh no, I don't have enough to do it yet. So let's play you. How much does he cost? Three. Uh, sure. Interplay on beacons, fun. Let's go with you. Exile the Skybonder. Hold this up so we can counter that thing when it happens. Alright, do the damage. Bang, bang. And in my turn, hold up Dovin's Veto. So, he Planar Cleanses again? Ooh, no. I don't think so. No, 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 we're not doing that again. None of that crap. None of this crap. Better. Whew, bloody planar cleansing. I mean, that thing could have been bad, it hit me again, but luckily we're not going to take that again anymore. No more. Um, hmm. Sure, it's gonna be too bad. I mean, you do have Temple Triumph. Maybe I can find a third land. That'd be nice. So let's go Triumph. Hopefully, find that third land. That's Sarkin. It's good, but not quite what I'm after right now. If not, we pay two life, and then we can Omen of the Sea and hopefully find a land. Thought of Rage it. Well, there goes Omen of the Sea. There goes. Oh no, it's Teferi. Oh, thank God for that. Elspeth can bring stuff back, so it's all good. Ooh, there's that third land I was after. So we're gonna pay the two life on that one. And I'm going to pass turn, and I'll play Omen C in his end phase. And then we can play Narset. Narset can find stuff from drawing cards. Ooh. 
Oh, that's kind of annoying. Resolve, I'm going to drop Narset. Ooh, lands, 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 lands. Hmm, I do want that. I don't really need you anymore. So I'll take this one. My turn. Hmm, three troll is fun. Need that life back. What can we find? Shadow the sky. That could be useful. Oh, crap, basket. He doesn't get a draw card, but he makes me discard. Um. I do want Dream Trawler, so Elsa Conk's death. Not an ideal sort of thing, but I do want my Dream Trawler. Take the ability. I have just the trick for Fairy, this. that's a fun card. I am not going to sit this one out. I'll turn Omen the Sea back to me. Like At least I find the scar, I should. You know, stuff hit the fan. Alright, cool. We can Elsa Conquer's deck next turn, exile one of these things, get our go back. Oh! This is hardly my worst defeat. I think don't think his land situation's going too well for him. I do not want him to surveil. Get that back. So he can't draw more than one card per turn now, which is really good for us. I don't know if he's running, um, things. Oh, okay, he can't counter me. Beautiful. This makes me very, very happy. Now we've got Dream Trawler. Okay, my turn. Bring back Teferi next turn. Teferi can have fun bouncing something. Charming Prince. Ugh, I don't like that. Gain some life. Yeah, I figured you'd do that. That's probably your best move. My turn. Alright. Alright, cool. Well. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do this correctly this time, and we're not going to mess this up like we did last time. Loyalty counter. Holy crap. So let's say, we're going to do the same thing we did last time. Now, do you want to definitely carry on and hit him for that? Well, I think we attack first, then do it. Hmm. Let's just, let's attack first. Draw a card. Ooh, more lands. Next to blockers. Next to damage. Hit him in the face. And definitely Clarion. Just um, deal some damage to each creature. Kill his thing. And just some zero. Beautiful. And put the Temple Triumph down. Mm, I don't really need more Hollow Pounds. I've got enough lands for now. And end our turn. In his turn, we will flash in our Omen of the Sea and draw some more cards. Sure. I will just discard Omen of the Sea if I have to. But that thing's going to die. Sure. Uh, I reckon he would kill Narset. Hmm. Oh, that could be fun. I'll take that. We'll take the Dovin's Veto. Sure. Yeah, that'll kill my thing. There goes Narset. Still have much to learn. And I will discard my Omen of the Sea. My turn. Lovely. Alright, we're going to hold this Dovid's Veto up because that is not fun. Alright, so you can go up yourself. No, I am not making this up as I go. So we can share this guy on our turn. Should I go with this guy? Should I go Sarkin? Can I still counter stuff? I can. Let's go Sarkin. Dragons. 
More dragon. Dragons are fun. Next to combat. Dream Trawler. Go hit him in the face, please. 5-5. Five, five. Next to blockers. You wanna block him? Nope. Take the damage. Bang. You die. I'm going to... Drop this one. In my turn. So I do have a Dovin's Veto. Now, if he's playing Yorin, he must have blinking abilities. He must be thinking about blinking something. Ooh. No. No. Eh, Time Princess. Oh, oh, Yorian. Crap. Why didn't he blink Yorian? Why do you know? It's weird. I I need I definitely need to shout out this guy next turn. Oh, actually, I don't need to show this guy, because Yorian's going to die. Whoops, someone didn't read Tarkin's ability. My turn. Oh, that's a shadow of the sky right there. Now, what we can do is, we can go with this one, and kill all his stuff. It's fun for us. And we can go and tick ourselves up one more. We can make everyone a, a dragon. Next to combat. All of you can smack him in the face real hard. Ooh, that's nice. Next damage. Bang, bang, bang. I'm gonna play my Elsa Conk of Death. And we're gonna take out Disinformation Campaign. Again. And that, and that ladies and gentlemen, is what this game is all about. Hey everybody, welcome back. Well, I had a lot of fun. That last game against that Blink deck was a lot of fun. Um, I did think the opponent made a misplay for a second because I thought he would just, um, when he put down Charming Prince, I thought he'd exile his own Yorian and then Yorian would come back and Yorian would bounce his thing, deal some damage to my Teferi and make me drop a card. I don't know why he didn't do that. Maybe he was worried he was going to lose life, so he just picked the life option, but I think we had the game anyway against that, which is good fun against a Yorian deck, which I'm not a big fan of, so... Pretty good. And Dovid's Veto came in super handy against um, the Azorius Flyers, who <laughs> who Faye have wished Faye have wished Faye have wished Faye have wished twice to get Planar Cleansing. Which was not a fun thing to play against. But anyway, that was the deck for today. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe for future MTG Arena videos. We'll be seeing M21 coming out in a few days, and we'll see a whole plethora of new decks, a whole swag of them are going to be coming out, and I'm so eager, to, so eager to start brewing some new stuff. Um, if you love this deck, please let me know what you liked about it in the comment section below, and if you have any suggestions for this deck, improvements, or ideas for future decks, please leave that in the comment section below. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all again next time. Bye for now, everybody.